Hello friends and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for some RimWorld Alpha 16 Fort Ranchos. My name is Sean and when we left off it was day 321, 321. Wow, cool. Very cool. Um, we are in our fifth year? No, we're in our sixth year here. We've completed five years, almost five and a half. And we are building up a little uh, secondary housing unit over here. Uh, got that sort of close to set up. And I went ahead and designated the area for our next housing unit. We'll kind of eliminate the way that this sticks out here, which I will like. We'll just push this wall up to here and uh, open this area up on the inside. Uh, build a wall around there and then put the housing unit in here. It's not close to the food area, but it's close enough. These guys don't really have a whole lot to do. Sure, they got a lot of walking around, and I don't like having all those gaps for them to have to walk around in. Uh, but, you know, I mean, you can't, I can't get everything perfect as much as I might try. So, we're going to live with it the way it is right now. Let's get the uh, temperature stuff set up in here. Oh, I don't like that battery getting connected there to some auto doors. These are wooden auto doors, right? Yes. And those are connected to good standard uh, power sources, which is good. But I will have to get a standardized power source up here to reconnect that air conditioner too. And then we can start rearranging these bedrooms and then after we do that, because we won't need this housing unit until we get the next uh, the next pawn in here and we may not really even end up getting any more pawns but better safe than sorry nope that's not what i wanted to copy that's what i wanted to copy running low on steel already didn't we just have like 1600 steel how did we possibly burn through all that it's craziness i didn't like make this wall out of steel or anything did i It's really bizarre. Vincent, why are you laid up in bed? Just healing from bruises and stuff, I guess. Some fist fight. Well, that's why you don't get into a fight with a guy on Mechanites. Uh, Greenhagen here. How is he out of work? He's a constructor, too. And a hauler? And there's nothing for him to do? Holy mackerel. That is wild stuff. No, I want you to be connected down there, thank you. Well, I guess let's get started on this uh, exterior wall then. Oh yeah, what we should get started on is uh, uh, redoing the uh, housing stuff over here. Whole, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like getting this housing area prepared for people to actually live in. And that definitely means drilling up some more steel. We'll go ahead and toggle the power on these. We'll hold off on drilling any more plasteel for now. We've got 2300, so may as well focus on drilling up steel. steel. We've got a lot of silver too, right? Yeah, 12,000 almost, so. I don't need to dig up any chem fuel, which would get us some more silver indirectly. And of course, we do still have the silver mine running as well. Uh, toggle the power on that too, now that Jack's over here working on it. So we could let him dig up one lump, maybe. Might be able to get one lump up today. He's really burning through that. Fire starting spree, that must be Greenhagen. I don't even really need to monitor what he's up to. Oh yeah. As he stays within our home area, we'll be fine. Oh, he uh, finished up his lump there. Vincent. Oh, Vincent, it's not Greenhagen. Wow, it's a surprise. 
Why don't you two get into a fire starting contest? Okay, wait a minute. Why do we have all of these? We have all these armored vests sitting here. I better not have one pawn wearing a stupid uh, dead man's armor vest. All right, doesn't look like ideal. That's good, okay. Then back at it, everybody. Sorry for the interruption. Let's get those heaters built so I can start redesigning these bedrooms. Ah, Vincent, uh, enough with the fires already. It's like when Greenhagen does it, he, there you go, thank you. He doesn't, he doesn't go on all day like you are. You're really being a nuisance. What do we have for stone here? We have plenty of sandstone and plenty of slate. All right, so we go we're already on the floors. There we go. Let's throw. Now wait a minute. Why did it not allow me to smooth? You'd think I should be able to smooth some of the stuff in here. Have they already been smoothed? Okay, there we go. That's better. And then nothing in here. It's going to use up most of our sandstone. Not going to leave us a lot of stone for walls, but that's all right. Rare thrombos. You know what I want to have is uh, common thrombos come through. That'd be fun. Wouldn't it, don't you think? Pig of War. Pig of War does not do construction. He does growing and plant cutting and hauling and cleaning. Really? Hmm. So, wow. Does Pig of War not do crafting? Ah, got it. Yeah, I guess that would explain that. I guess I could set him up as a hunter. Turn these guys off of hunting. Try to find something for him to hunt. There you go, Pig of War. That'll keep you busy, sort of. For a few minutes, anyway. All right, there's our temperature thingies. Let's turn them down. Let's adjust you guys a little bit. Uh, dromedary Revenge, really? Are they all enraged, or is it just the one? Nope, it is all of them, isn't it? Alright, well, Pig of War. It's too bad. So we're going to have to draft an army to fight those enraged dromedaries, but the good news is uh, we'll have, um, have plenty of meat to eat. Get over here, buddy. I wasn't, like, worried that that was going to happen, but I thought it might. My kitty's come by to say hi. Hello, kitty. No, well, he doesn't really want to talk to the microphone. Shy little guy. Nice try, dromedaries. You're not going to be able to hurt any of us. We're tough. We have good weapons and good fi firing skills. Even if the weapons are fairly slow. Heh. <laughs> nice try, Lucky Strike. There you go. Gather it up. Free lunch, everybody. Now Pig of War is not going to have anything to do. I thought I mark them one at a time. I feel like if you select a whole group of them, I, I don't know, maybe it's just coincidence. It seems like when I select a whole group of them that I tend to get the, the uh, revenge thingy. But if I select them one at a time, like the revenge thingy doesn't seem to happen as much. Probably just uh, um, perception bias. Let's remove the plans from in here. Probably want to set this as a home area if everybody's bored. 
designate this as a home area as well so we can get some of that blood cleaned up. Maybe put a doorway in here. And we can start reassigning some of these bedrooms. And we'll see how this works out in the long run. Hopefully it'll make for some happier ponds. Don't know, don't know how whether it will or not, but it's a good uh, it's worth trying, right? I mean, they should like the, the larger space. Hopefully they find those rooms to be luxurious. Uh, of course, I need to I need to redo the way that these zones are set up now, since like not everybody's going to be eating in these rooms. Let's uh, let's make the zones visible here. So, what do we have? This one is just all meals, isn't it? Yeah. So I want to have one for lavish. One for fine and one for common, right? I'm not even going to allow packaged survival meals in there. Actually, I, I can allow them in there. It's not going to hurt. But I'll designate it to where they'll only be in that area. Alright, let's copy that. And then let's set the same thing up down here. So we're going to paste, fine, paste, lavish, paste, simple, paste, survival. Great. All right. Um, so now I definitely want to set both of these to, actually, I'm going to set them all to 30. Because I'm also going to set up a freezer in the uh, the other living area, uh, but I also need to let's see. We want to delete that. We need to set those to be hauled. I want somebody to come clean this room up. And do furniture, table, plasteel. That'll be fine. Uh, turn off all but our best constructor. So he can focus on that table. Let's actually set up the chairs and stuff for it too. So we can have a fine dining area. Honestly, I'm mostly worried about the constructor doing the uh, table. I wouldn't really mind if... if uh, one of the lesser constructors did um, did the chairs. It is uh, um, is our best constructors at Lucky Strike. No, Muhort. There we go. So I'll have Muhort focus on this table, and then I will turn him onto this. Uh, chest table and oh, see and that only came out good so I'm glad I didn't let one of the other guys do it, it might have come out poor or something which you know that's a lot of resources now why why do you why would you have put plasteel at these things when you didn't bring enough plasteel for the chest table I. That doesn't make sense. Like he should not have anything to put on the dining chairs when he's supposedly like he didn't even bring anything for the chairs there. Come on. Really makes me mad. And now it's like take my screenshot, please. Shush.
Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate these. Ah. Oh, come on now. There we are. Ha! Nice, he finishes the chair and then immediately sits down in it. Alright, what does it think of this room? Is that a raid? It is a raid. Alright, very impressive and rich. Thank you. Uh, very impressive, very impressive, somewhat impressive. And then uh, these are all just decent. Yeah, all right. But they will be much nicer once we tear out those center walls and make them larger rooms. Um, let's turn that off. Okay, let's see. A group of pirates going to prepare for a while, then attack. And it looks like a bunch of melee pirates, so that's going to be... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Interesting. Restrict everybody to the safe zone. Actually, need to expand our safe zone a little bit because it probably does not include the new housing unit. So, don't worry. Uh, pawns, you can go back to whatever you were doing. No need to uh, go do something else. All right, what are these preparing preparers doing? Some interesting jackets. What kind of weird yellow jacket is that? A York, Yorkie duster, huh? Well, we're going to get plenty of shields out of this. Dromedary has given birth. Got cargo pods around here somewhere. Oh, nice, I guess. Wake up. How's our uh, Devil Strand? Forty percent. It's doing okay, I guess. Or our chairs? We have a poor one in there. Shoddy. Come on. That's very disappointing. The poor one is disappointing enough. Excellent. See, that's more like it. Thank you, Lucky Strike. These guys still just wandering around. Normal. Masterwork, good. Still no warning about the raiders. I know I've missed the warning. I'm watching real close for it, but I have missed it in the past. Even while I was watching closely for it. Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's get everybody drafted. Not really sure where we're going to end up fighting these guys, but common sense would indicate that they're going to try to come through one of these open doors over here. And uh, since they're all... Uh... Ah, shit. How did that not get hauled? How are you not designatable to be hauled? Is that a zone? Glad I saw that. Not that it's really gonna matter, but you know. Alright, let's see what these guys do. Well, they're not attacking the doors so much. These guys, I don't know what they're doing. And some of these guys are attacking the walls and stuff. But even when they do that, they're still gonna come into uh come into the area down here and get involved. Ah, come on. You go up here. You. Come on up here. You guys go support your friends. Why don't you go down here? You go down here, Greenhagen. Would you come back up here? All right, that's all good. And where are these bad guys? 
None of them are getting close yet. I mean, these guys are starting to get close, but they're gonna get beat up pretty badly once they step through that door. Some of them even before they step through the door. Or Chung. Chung must be going after our uh, power supply. Sure enough. I don't know how uh, fragile that is. Actually, why don't you go down here? Probably could try to hit uh, Chunk from over here, but of course he's going to shoot at somebody else. Ah, shit. Sh shit! Yang got shot to death? How? There oh, he must have got shot to death by Jack. S son of a... Wow. I haven't had a death in some time. Draconic Rose! Don't go that way! You're supposed to hold this door open for us. How's everybody? No, nope, Mewhort, you're in trouble. Poor Yang. We haven't lost anybody for a long time. It's a real shame. Uh, we're not going to be able to uh, track anybody else down either, are we? So I'll just go ahead and undraft everybody. Was Yang married to anybody or anything? Apparently wasn't friends with whoever this is. Somebody's rival. Somebody's rival. Somebody's rival. Well, Yang. <laughs> Must not have been very popular. Colonist died. Cute pain. Another rival. Hmm. Well, Yang, I'm sorry, buddy, that you were not... Basically, nobody liked you. Were you? Well, I can't... Yeah, there you go. You were ugly, so I guess uh, that uh, caused everybody to dislike you. It's bad I didn't take advantage of your melee skills and actually get you up front fighting. You are a pretty good doctor and grower and crafter, too. This is a shame. Well, if nobody else cares, I will miss having you around. Let's see what this new guy has got going on. He's missing a toe. I will not abide another toe. Um, low expectations, sure. He's a good shooter. Reasonable grower. And capable of a lot of things. Nah, you know, I don't really just need a body, which is all he would serve as. And he's a pirate, right? So I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to... Uh, uh, release him. It's not going to do me any good. Mewhor, let's see if you can take Lou out here. Should be able to. One more shot. Nice. Nice job, buddy. Alright. So, I've got some bodies to clean up. And I feel like Yang's death is on my, uh, it's my fault. I wasn't paying close enough attention. I should have, uh, I mean, it was friendly fire. So I, I did my best, but I didn't think about these guys shooting over their shoulders. 
I mean, he could have killed any any of those people. He could have killed, you know, Chowns or something uh, just as easily. So I, I guess I'm lucky that he didn't. Um, but, yeah. yeah, that's too bad. Never good to lose a pawn. On the other hand, it'll, you know, fill one of our graves. We've got all those graves up there. It'll, it'll uh, open up. Uh, the bed, uh, the bedding situation, you know, won't have to worry about as much crowding in the sleeping area. It'll help us uh, uh, accumulate more food. So it's not all bad. I'm going to get, actually, this would be the better area for the uh, food setup. Put the cooler right there. Move the sculpture over to here or something. Anything else in there? Not really. Need to build the wall there. Whoops, not there, silly. And then we need to do some zones. One, two, three, four, and then we paste, and we make that uh, lavish meal, and we paste, and we make that a fine meal, and we, pa uh, we paste, and leave that as it is, we paste, and make it a simple meal. There we go. And uh, we'll speed things up a little bit, and there's the timer that says it is time to go on to the next episode and move on with your life, Sean. Can't focus all day on Fort Ranchos. As much fun as it is, as much as you still may be struggling to put together enough steel. Oh, a trade ship is passing by. Let's uh, let's take care of this before the end of the episode. Chronic Rose, you're standing right there. Very good. It's like it was meant to be. All right, what do they have to offer? No, uh, none of the good medicine, so that's too bad. Because I need it. Um, can't see how we're doing on panoxycycline, but I feel like we weren't doing so hot. Just cannot. Um, you know what? Let's let's take a look here. 63. All right. So we definitely could use some more. All right, Pino. Let's buy 40. It's expensive. Um, they don't have any luciferum, so that's too bad. Do I want to sell any of these weapons? No. I do have some dead man's clothes to get rid of. And don't need that armor vest or that armor vest. The rest of this stuff seems fairly reasonable. Although we do have a lot of it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, a whole bunch of personal shields now. Uh, because we just got in all those other ones. So we may as well sell a few of them. I'll still hold on to some, though. Power armor helmet. A couple of cowboy hats. Alright, look at that. We're in the black. And I guess that's it. I was hoping you would have... Uh, hoping you would have some luciferum for me. Or some... Um, glitter world medicine. But, you know. I guess you take what you can get, right? Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. This is episode 100, wasn't it? Wow, 100 episodes. That's crazy. And it looks like they're going to continue because Alpha 17 wasn't released today. I mean, it could be released tomorrow. If it's released tomorrow before I start recording, this will be the final episode. But, you know, I doubt it. Uh, I feel like there's another week or so. So let's keep, uh, keep building things up for our friends here in Fort Ranchos. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment. And thank you for subscribing. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.